all right welcome back everyone to another video and this is sort of the uh, final in the three part series of the lima driver experiments of course not the end i will be making uh, videos on the driver itself in the coming days um but uh, this is the first bit uh, and today i am going to show a side by side comparison of mali 400 versus mali 450 mp4 as far as i can remember so it's going to be a bit different because i have new hardware now working uh, earlier i used the banana pie uh, m1 plus which was based on the a20 soc and that had some issues uh, especially uh, with the video that you saw earlier of the um, of the kms cube rotating and it has this sometimes it had the weird glitch or uh, something else but um, or it was actually too slow so something was the issue uh, i've since changed the hardware because some people has uh, have said that the a20 is not the ideal chip because um, some things may be wrong with it i'm not too sure but uh, at the end of the day uh, i got a new nano pi uh, nano m1 which is basically uh, all winner h3 uh, that's running the uh, mali 400 with a quad core cortex a7 at 1.2 gigahertz or something like that so that's one board and the other one is the um, am logic s905x Karas vim which i've again reviewed earlier so the nano by one is a new board that i just bought off um and it got delivered in time so i was able to do experiments on that um but uh with that said um Yes, so we will be having side to side comparisons now uh, in the previous one as I said it was either the SOC or the code base was too old since then I have had open embedded setup uh, thanks to this guy uh, and uh, I have tweaked a bit to make sure that the latest Lima kernel and the latest Lima Mesa is always pulled when I'm doing the build so that's all on like top of the edge. Uh, good so that should do uh, well i have um run uh, gl mark 2 now gl mark 2 doesn't really run all that well but there are some scenarios some scenes that you can run really well and that is what i have done again uh, i won't be able to show live fps because when you add that uh, minus minus append um, string uh, or, or a command option it actually uh, doesn't work because of some issues so we don't know what that, those are so um, yeah for now the average FPS on the uh, 450 running GL Mark II is around 60 FPS which is actually pretty good and then on the 400 it's a bit lower just because it's a older and uh, less powerful hardware and I'll actually have the average numbers down there because the GL Mark II output shows the average numbers fine but then the actual um, GL Mark II benchmark screen doesn't show them. So that's about it. Um, I hope you enjoy the rest of the clips. The first would be the KMS Cube and then we will have the GL Mark II running. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the series. Uh, I'll show you. I'll come back with more Lima videos or something else in the next one. And uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.